my right to possess and use firearms is not something that is remotely up for debate. If I want to go and buy a firearm, I am going to do that guilt-free. My right to own a gun goes way beyond the Second Amendment. While I support the Second Amendment, I don't need the Second Amendment to justify my right. I don't need permission from a document or the anti-gun crowd to go purchase a firearm. When we talk about gun control and restricting my right to own a gun, from my perspective, it's like having a debate about whether or not we should have slavery. It's absurd. Personally, I believe it's time to stop being on the defensive. We've been trying to appease the anti-gun mob in order for them to accept us or leave our guns alone. We give in and allow a little bit of legislation to be passed, so we can say that we care too. But we try to reason with people who can't be convinced by any philosophical argument or statistics. The anti-gun crowd, the anti-gun mob, has no concern for your reasoning behind firearm ownership. Nor do they understand your culture. Their lack of empathy doesn't allow them to consider your opinions, fears, or suggestions. We need to be radical in the face of unreasonable radicals who want to strip you of your rights. Every time there is a shooting of any sort, the anti-gun mob will advocate for the government to impede on your rights. They prove that time and time again when they cry for gun control. We are mocked when we say it's too soon to talk about the issue, especially when the bodies are still warm. They are willing to stand on the graves of dead children in order to also stand on your rights. The anti-gun mob not only will stand on the graves of dead children, they'll stand on the grave where your rights have been laid to rest, and they will vote for the government to go in and enforce these laws. And let's be clear, laws require violence to be enforced. They will send men with guns. There is not a single tragedy in the history of the world that serves as a proper justification to debate the rights of other people. If there was, we wouldn't have any rights at all. I'm not saying that we shouldn't have a civil dialogue with the other side, but what I am saying is don't lose sight of the bigger picture. Don't be so caught up in civil discourse to the point where you start conceding territory. You can have an honest and open discussion without putting your rights on the table where anybody can grab it. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want more content, don't forget to subscribe so you can check back and see more future videos regarding politics and culture. While you're at it, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when a new video is uploaded. Also, check out my links to my Facebook and Twitter in the description box below. Ooh.